hello guys this is light wave welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing this awesome stylistic anime over effect using sketch flipper clip and after effects so stay tuned guys let's do this this video is sponsored by envado elements a huge library of creative assets, textures, dark videos and photography, music, sound effects, fonts, motion graphic elements, templates and so much more. Click on the link below if you're interested so you can get unlimited downloads at a very affordable subscription. Hello guys, this is Lightwave. So, when it comes to animating Adobe After Effects, you always need an explanation because it's a really complex background. So right now we're just going to create a new solid, a new black solid. You can create it on any color that you want, but I'm going to use a black solid. Then we're going to type in the effects saber from Video Copilot. It's a free plugin so you guys can install it. You don't have to pay anything. Then you go to the screen, then we're just going to take our pen tool and max this out. I'm going to do this pretty fast. I forwarded the video. So when you're done with the masking, you go to cut micro and you put layer mask. Then that's the basics of this of this um, tutorial. As you can see now, the mask is all around the the anime character. So you're just going to resize that to your, until it suits you and what we're going to do now is we go up to the presets and you can choose anything that you want. I'm going to use the energized preset so as you can see this like the basics of this tutorial because it gives you a better dimension. So now to put some more dimension as you can see I've put um, the PNG file we made from sketch just give it more dimension because I forgot to do some details. But this is another way to solve the problem. You put um, the sketch PNG on top of the of the original video, so it gives some more dimension. Now you can duplicate the cyber layer and put the other one on top of the PNG file, so it gives some more dimension and inner depth. So 
gonna take this file now and we're gonna box blur it. Oh, you first put a radial blur so that it gives more of like an overlay feeling. Just look at what I'm gonna do. As you can see, the amount you just bring the amount down a little bit and it's gonna be blur so that it just gives like something more like an overlay more feeling not just the empty feeling that it looks it looked before so you're gonna add now the blur you just increase the blur just a little bit and you can see what's happening it gives some more dimension to the character you can put any color you want I'm gonna use the blue bed you can use any color you want to make the video look good so guys this is like the basics of this tutorial the tutorial normally had to end here but I'm just gonna show you guys more details So let's just move on let me show you what i'm talking about the main thing in this tutorial is to is a pen tool because it was a little bit difficult because i animated the, the characters here without the animation then the tutorial will have been long finish this tutorial normally has to be like three minutes it just went up because i wanted to give you show you guys more details so it's all left to you you guys can play around with all these presets like consider fire presets you can play around with all the presets you want and all the coloring it just depends on you guys so from the time left in the tutorial we're just going to be trying more other things that we can do to make the animation better as you can see when you bring up the distortion amount it gives it shows it gives something else something different and you just have to play around to um to put the max to fit correctly to the character that's the basics of this tutorial so we're going to just be working on this on the time left with the tutorial as you can see when you increase the distortion amount in core distortion make sure you don't forget it gives a better feel of the of the aura of the character aura as you can see that looks cool to me so i'm just going to duplicate that again and I'm going to rotate that and put it closer on top of the on top of the PNG file so it gives just more dimension. You're not obliged to do that. That's just like an idea. Just give the anime more dimension. So you see So that's just the basics. That's how the so I'm going to turn this to yellow because I prefer the yellow. But you can put any color you want, green, purple, anyone. And that's all about the anime, the anime over tutorial. So we're going to try to play this, and if it doesn't work, we're just going to put it in the Adobe Render Quick because my PC is really lagging sometimes. As you can see, it's very slow, so we're just going to put it in the render cray. Guys, I think this is the basis of this tutorial. I think the tutorial ends here. So I'll be seeing you guys next time, and thanks for watching.